What is actually holding businesses back from moving their ERP to more nimble and scalable cloud solutions? More and more businesses who are using on-prem ERP software are naturally looking to move to the cloud. And the benefits are obvious. Modern cloud applications are more agile, more secure, and offer better user-friendliness than legacy systems. But there's another benefit that clearly improves efficiency, not just for the finance department, but across the entire business. And that is the connectivity to all the systems that the business relies on throughout all their operations. So what is holding businesses back from moving on-prem ERP to more nimble and scalable cloud solutions? There is significant risk in these kind of projects. But when speaking to ERP vendors and customers, the biggest obstacle, paradoxically, is the replacement of the integrations to the existing ERP. I want to talk to our Chief Solutions Officer, Luke Buckley, about some practical advice to CFOs and financial directors who are considering starting this process. And to talk about our experiences in migrating businesses to a new cloud solution from their old tech stack. So look, from a client perspective, what is the most important starting point when considering integrations as part of a migration to cloud project? Obviously, the, the best place to start is with, with what you already have. So to look at your existing system landscape and integrations there and to start your planning from that point and to then think about how the processes could or should be as, as you move towards the cloud. But that sounds like a big job, especially when we know that integration can sudden, certainly be um, unknown or at least to the people who are now in the business. Yeah, um, I, I would I would agree. I think there's no way around it. It is a big job that, that needs to be done. But if, if the recommended starting point, again, would be to talk to your existing system owners or, or your department heads, whoever's in charge of different aspects of the business. For example, your sales director, he will likely or she will likely know how CRM should interface with ERP and what data exchange needs to happen there. Likewise, uh, your payroll or our accounting team will know what data they need to receive for other applications to run payroll or to do month end and so on. This is homework in a way, but and homework does take time, but really there isn't a way around it. So the alternative is that you don't migrate and that comes with a whole other host of problems. You know, there's ongoing support costs. It's a legacy application. There's the risk profile, which will, you know, expand if, if you don't move forward. So there's a lot of companies out there with what we would kind of call black box integrations. And that means, you know, something is running somewhere. It does something important, but nobody really knows or has control over it. And you know, we have one story of a, of a company that had a black box integration that suddenly failed. And nobody realized until they realized money wasn't coming in and it wasn't coming in because the integrations that the integration was sending didn't go out uh, and, and all of that. So, you know, that, that's a real problem as well that has to be factored into kind of the risk profile. Ouch. But OK, so now the client has done its systems mapping. What now? We'd recommend that taking this from a business process perspective, don't, don't sweat about the technical details yet because that can just slow you down. That's Technical details are what we in CMA can solve together with the, the customer's ERP or technology partner. But in CMA, we think of integration. It's it's actually it's a business problem that we provide a technical solution for. So to think about it from that perspective of what you want to achieve with these processes and then the how to integrate those processes becomes much clearer. Okay, so now the, the client has identified its business problem um, and is ready to proceed with migration piece. What is your advice now? My advice would be to, to not to try and do everything at once, to break this into kind of more bite-sized chunks because implementing new applications and integrations that go with it is is a time-intensive process. It's, it's resource-heavy. So I think it's important to kind of break that into smaller goals that you can achieve, get the most important integrations up and running first, and then you can look to build and scale up from there. Right. And But in many cases, there are EM, ERP consultants uh, involved. Where and how do they fit in? Um, they fit in really well, actually. And I would say, you know, that's an advantage to have one in the project because if you have a technology partner that is, you know, technical and deeply familiar with the application or system in question and they know how it's being implemented, that's vital information to kind of go back into the integration discussion. And having that partner available then will, will take the pressure off the end clients because they don't have to necessarily, uh, you know, explain that part to, to the integrator. So our new integration platform, Canvas, 
is of course made for this kind of purpose. But how, do, how does it really make it easier to migrate an on-prem ERP solution to the cloud? Well, Canvas is uh, you know a purpose-built integration platform that's made to deliver integrations quicker, faster, less coding, which is all good things. And also it's a collaborative tool. So Connect My Apps can build on it, but also the partner can build on it or we can build together. And it also solves the black box problem because the client also has access to Canvas. They can log in, they can see the status of their integrations, they can set up error alerting if something goes wrong. So it's not, it allows kind of a whole new level of visibility into the process, which not just in the immediate term, but over you know longer term will, 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 will benefit you. Thank you, Luke. Now, if you found this interesting and want to learn more about how we can assist you in migrating from on-prem solutions to the cloud, then do not hesitate to reach out. Thank you for watching.